Welcome. It's a new week. It's a short week, right? Um, okay, so we're going to talk about reflections today. Um, coordinate plane, remember, you're going to get really used to the coordinate plane because we're going to use it for, I don't know, the rest of your math career throughout high school and everything. Not kidding. Okay, um, first let's get back to this coordinate plane thing. Um, so there's two axes, right? This is the y and this is the x axis. Hopefully you can see the lines. They're a little bit better this time. Um, now, this is the origin, okay? The origin is right dead center, right? That is a point on this graph, and that point is 0, comma 0, okay? That first coordinate is an x value, and the second coordinate is a y value, okay? So we need to get a little bit better with making sure we put points in the right spots, right? Now, I've got a big point right there. It's actually blue. You can't see it. I don't know what color it looks like to you. Maybe it's blue. I don't know. So let's identify that point before we go any further. Um, the first thing I need to do is I need to shift along the x-axis. That's kind of the first direction I go in. So I'm going to go over from the origin, one, two, three. Now, every point has a coordinate pair. It's an x and a y point. I know I went over three units on the x-axis, so that's my point for here. And then from here, I went up two units. So this is my point, three comma two, and let's just label that, I don't know, um, g, right? So that's my point, g, comp three comma two. Um, Let's just go another step here. What if I made a point over here? What would that point be, right? Take your time and, and think that through. I'm going from the origin, and I'm going left, so it's going to be a negative. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's a negative six, and I went up one unit from there. So that point is negative six comma one, all right? Just to make sure we're understanding of how to make points. Now, with transformations, this whole unit, you're not transforming the origin, which I saw a couple times uh, the other day. You never transform the origin. The origin just stays there. That's technically not a point. I'm just labeling it as such. I'm transforming that point, or that point, or that point, or whatever I ask you to transform. So on this one, reflections, this is more of a mirror image. Okay, so it's, well, tell me what line you want me to reflect across, and then I can give you what you need. So for instance, uh, I'm going to give you a point. Let's just use point G. Example one says, label it as R, Ugh, I thought it was G, all right, it's R, it's R, it's R, okay, not a pirate, but it's R, um, across the Y axis, so this is the Y axis, this is the boundary line that I want to reflect that point across, so if this is the mirror, this point has to go over here somewhere, but how do we know? Well, I know because I can just count how far it is from the Y axis, and I can go to the other side, so for instance, this point is one, two, three units to the right of the y-axis. So how many units do you think it needs to be from the left of the y-axis? Three, exactly. One, two, three. This is my new point, and it's r prime. Remember, I need to label it as the new point, and we'll label it. So it's negative three comma two now, because I went from the origin, one, two, three to the left, which is my negative, and then up two. So that's how I reflect that point across the y-axis, okay? Make sure you identify the new coordinates as well, because if you don't, I don't, I don't know what you're doing. Next example here. Uh, let's reflect the same point across the x-axis. So let's use this point again. All right, I'll just make it a little darker. Now I want to reflect it across the x-axis. So we're going to use the same method, right? How far is it away from the x-axis, and then we'll reflect it across that mirror image. Well, from here, it's one, two units north that way, of the x-axis. So that means I have to make it two units south of the x-axis. So one, two. Now let's label that point. Well, I know it's going to be r prime, right? Forget that. Don't look at it. Uh, so this is one, two, three. So it's still that three, but in this case, it went down two. So it's going to be a negative two. Now that's going to be my new point if I reflect it across the x-axis. Now a question you may have is, well, why am I only counting straight from some random point? Well, because the shortest distance between two lines, or two points, is one straight line. So, if I can make sure that it's this way away, it has to be from that way away as well. And we'll work from there. Okay? So, I'm at four and a half minutes. Um, yeah, we're good here. So, we'll do reflections part the second. Coming at you. Shortly. Reflections. Watch, I'm reflecting. Now I'm over here. I'm reflecting across the y-axis. Actually, I'm not. So, here. Here's the y-axis. Now I'm reflecting across the y-axis. <laughs> All right, see you later.